the man at the very top may have been removed, but issues for Rochdale borough-wide housing very much remain. Mould, damp and despair, even two years on from the death of a Wabishak. In every room of his family's flat, the boy was exposed to these dangerous conditions. Despite repeated calls for help, nothing was done. It means tenants like Oazo are scared about what may happen to them. He lives in the flat below with young and old. Seeing what happened to that uh, poor child, it's not safe to be letting this happen so frequently like this. And um, the ventilator is too old. We're breathing it in, you see. So, and my, my mother, she doesn't have the best health. Over the last week, we visited six homes on this estate with severe mould. And today, Rochdale Borough Wide Housing told us they've received 106 complaints of mould within the last 12 months across their 12,000 properties. But one former employee claims there are hundreds more than that. They have been putting profit before people. Eleanor, not her real name, resigned from RBH a year ago. She, like other former employees, claims the working culture was toxic and it impacts customers in desperate need. Tenants are basically being passed from pillar to post and not getting the answers they wanted. I've been in meetings where it has all been about cost cutting. How much can we save? Do you reckon others could die at the, the hands of RBH's properties if, if there isn't drastic change? Absolutely. If it's happened once, it can happen again. It's why the housing secretary stepped in and put RBH on a period of notice. But he now feels the blame goes beyond the chief executive. The board still felt it was appropriate to keep the chief executive in place. And that seemed to me, you know, you, you shouldn't blame just one individual, but ultimately the chief executive and the board should carry the can. In a statement, the Housing Association told us we provide a full response to initial complaints on average within five days and we are an employee and tenant-owned mutual organisation with a strong set of values at our core. A cold and wet winter is upon many across Rochdale and a lot of these homes need desperate attention. Many hoped Awab's death would be a defining moment. Instead, it's only unearthed claims of a deeper issue. Inzaman Rashid, Sky News, Rochdale.